Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an awesome oil recipe that you can add to your regimen to help strengthen your hair. Now, when you apply this to your hair, guys, I promise you not a single hair is going to fall out or even break. And also, you will notice that your bald spots are starting to fill up and essentially your hair is starting to get thicker. So if you are interested, you definitely want to make sure that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now to begin with, we are going to need some fresh aloe vera. Now aloe vera has many active ingredients and minerals that can help to strengthen the hair. So it just means that it prevents your hair from breaking, so it's quite useful in that regard. And also it helps to control greasy hair, it helps with an itchy scalp, it helps to promote hair growth and basically protects your hair from UV damage, so it's super amazing um, as an ingredient in your DIY. So cut a small piece of the aloe vera and then go ahead and wash it off and then cut it into smaller pieces just so you can see me do here and pop it in the bowl. And next we're going to go in with one ripe avocado. Now if your avocado is overripe, it will be really good for today's recipe. Now don't forget to also add this into your diet guys. Honestly, it's super important that you eat healthy if you are you know trying to grow your hair and generally see the health of your hair popping it's super important that you watch what you eat and adding avocado to your diet is a really really great way to help you grow strong healthy hair it contains something called biotin and this is a really important component when it comes to healthy hair growth but when added to the scalp it can also have some amazing benefits. A study in 2015 actually found that the minerals in avocado oil, including potassium and magnesium, may help to seal your cuticle cells, which can help your hair look smooth, shiny, and also prevent it from breaking. But just like I said, it's also very important that you add it to your diet. So you can eat it as part of a salad or even as part of a side dish. And trust me, if you do it regularly, over time you will most definitely notice a change in how your hair looks and just how generally healthy it is. So after I cut the avocado and add it to the aloe vera, I added some rapeseed oil. Feel free to use avocado oil or any other oil of your choice guys, but just make sure that that oil has a high heating point. So olive oil for example will not be suitable for today's recipe, but avocado oil or coconut oil or any other oil of your choice will be great. So go ahead and blend it until it's nice and smooth, just like you can see here. So, so once that's all done, guys, we're going to go ahead and pop it in a little pan. But you can also use a frying pan or whatever it is that works for you, really. So just pop it in there. And then we're going to go in with some fresh rosemary. Now, rosemary... It's super, super amazing when it comes to stimulating the follicles in order to promote healthy high growth. It does this by um, just improving the blood flow to the scalp, which essentially can help to prevent the hair follicles from being starved of blood supply and oxygen and all of the nutrients and essentially lead to hair loss. So it's quite useful to have rosemary as well in your oil, especially if you're trying to regrow your edges or if you're just trying to like, you know, prevent your hair from falling out is super useful and research has actually shown this to be very beneficial when it comes to growing healthy, strong hair. So after I added the rosemary, I went in with some coconut oil just like you saw there and then I'm just putting the whole thing on the fire. I'm going to allow it to just, you know, just simmer for just a little bit. It shouldn't take too long for this to happen, guys. You will notice that the oil will start to rise on top, and that's how you know it's ready. So take it off the stove, pop it in a little bowl, and we're just going to allow it to cool down before we go ahead and strain. You don't know. Bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's body, baby, oh. Ah, he's body, baby, oh. Yeah. 
Now onto the straining process. We're just going to go ahead and use a wig cap for this. Um, but again, whatever works for you is fine, guys. So um, just put your wig cap on there and then we're just going to pour the whole mixture on it and give it a gentle squeeze until you get most of the oil out. You can keep the pulp if you want to, perhaps to make a mask. It will be super moisturizing on the hair or you can just get rid of it essentially if you don't want to reuse it. So here we have the oil, really nice, rich, you can look at that rich green colour. It's so full of nutrients that your scalp is going to love, definitely. I'm pretty sure you guys will love this. Go ahead and give it a go and let me know what you think. So we'll be going in with some rosemary uh, essential oil. Again, this helps to improve the blood flow to the scalp area, which can help to stimulate faster hair growth. So I added a few drops of those. Um, so just uh, add as much as you need to based on the quantity of the oil that you're working with. Now I'm also going in with some tea tree essential oil. This does not only improve blood flow, but also helps with um, preventing your scalp from getting infection. Like it has antibacterial properties which is really great for just a general healthy scalp. So I added a few drops of those. Now I'm going in here as well with some vitamin E oil complex. Now, if you don't have this guys, it's okay to just leave it out completely. So don't crack your head trying to find it. Um, you know, if you don't have it, it's fine. Or if you have like vitamin E oil capsules that you can get from Amazon, feel free to use that as well. Um, in this particular one, it has a bit of Jehovah oil um, and some other bits as well, which are quite useful for, you know, a, gen a generally healthy scalp in general. Um, but yeah, I got it from a store called Holland and Barrett here in the UK. Um, so I can't really give you a link, guys, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, feel free to use any vitamin E oil that you may have available or that you can get your hands on. So I added a few drops of those, stirred everything in until it was nice and combined and then I'm just putting it in this um, bottle and this bottle is so good. I really love this bottle because literally you can just pour it on your hair without instead of having to open the bottle. I'll show you guys how I use it um, in a little bit. So but put it into anything that you have that um, works really. So this is what the oil looks like and yeah I really love it. You can see some of the avocado bits are sitting a bit at the bottom but that's fine you just need to like just shake the butter a little bit when you want to use it i'm going to show you guys what i mean in a little bit now let's hop into me applying this to my hair i'm showing you guys what my edges are looking like right now my edges are <laughs> oh my god i'm literally like laughing but i'm crying at the same time my edges are literally almost gone because I've just had a baby as you guys know and yeah postnatal shedding is real guys honestly this has dealt with me but I felt like he didn't really do it it wasn't as bad this time around like it was last time um, because there are certain things that I did a little bit differently things like eating high protein diet a high protein diet I think that has definitely helped my edges a lot more uh, I mean this time round um, but yeah, it is, it is thin and I'm trying to regrow them. But anyways, 
So what you need to do is just apply it directly to the area that needs help, just like you can see me doing here. So apply it there, give it a good massage after you've applied, guys. It's quite important because it helps to improve the blood flow. And repeat this two to three times a week, depending on your preference, and be consistent with it. And I'm pretty sure you will see results. So this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did, please thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and I will read them and answer them as soon as I can and then we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye now.